Marching band is a complex activity. First, a person must know where to move around the field using coordinates or sets. Second, everything is calculated. The movements, notes, all have been determined for a group of performers to present a clean product. Lastly, a marching band show is a performance, displaying emotions or characters in hopes to make the audience feel something. Now, think about your brain. How does this affect a performer in a marching band? The answer is quite simple. Everything. That's what I'm here to explain. I'm Melanie, and I play the snare drum in the Spirit of Freedom Marching Band. This is the Brain and Band. Overall, the cerebellum is very important to this activity. It controls major muscle movements which allow a person to physically march and keep steady balance while doing so. When you are thinking about where you are marching or what specific notes you are playing, you are using your frontal lobe. The frontal lobe contains the motor cortex which allows voluntary movements so you can move from set to set and think about the beats you are playing. The occipital lobe works in this area as well. It allows you to process your visual field to understand where you are on the field so that you can guide yourself to the correct coordinate. While learning the sets in music, you use the hippocampus, which writes memories and gives them to the amygdala to keep them in storage. This allows you to remember where to go, what to play, and how to play it. The corpus callosum connects the left and right brain, allowing them to work in conjunction for motor movements, speech, and performing. Because over 100 people are playing on the field at the same time, it is important that everyone is understanding the correct tempo. Drummers count out loud, which involves speech from the left brain to make sure they all communicate the tempo well. They also march with their feet at the same time, using both parts of the brain together. Reticular formation is important to marching to prevent things from going wrong. This keeps the brain focused and alert so you can march and play well with minimal mistakes. But what happens when something does go wrong? The brain has the amygdala, which does not only store memories but decision making and emotional responses. It determines fight or flight in your brain. So if you make a mistake or twist your ankle while marching, your amygdala will tell your brain what to do. The medulla oblongata controls the body's heart rate, blood pressure, and breathing. While marching a show, your body is exerting a large amount of energy and pumping adrenaline. The medulla makes sure the body continues to function properly during high energy performances and practices. Marchers must perform their shows using facial expressions to convey their theme or emotion that they are going for. Pawns controls facial expressions, allowing you to perform and show the passion that is so important to this activity. Along with this, the thalamus is used to process the five sentences. Hearing the cheers of the crowd mid-performance can fuel you to perform at a higher level of intensity and put you on cloud nine, or what they call the performance high. Well, there you have it. 10 parts of the brain that go into marching band and playing the snare drum. So the next time you see someone in marching band, give them a hug, because they must have a lot going on up there.